We know that college-age students have a greater prevalence of mental health issues than any other age group. We also know that 60% of students report that they have felt overwhelming anxiety, and over 40% of students have reported feeling so depressed that they were unable to function. I seriously feel that a lot of students here don't have healthy coping mechanisms um, to deal with stress and then we just kind of like shove it under the rug. The strategies that I use to manage the pressure points at Yale have varied. Usually I kind of don't manage them, but in general, like last semester, if I was overwhelmed by something, I would just kind of shut down. We see students come in with so much burnout and stress and a very distracted mind, and that makes academics hard and social life even harder. Instead of sitting down and doing what I needed to do, whether that be work or sports or going to the gym, I would find myself sort of moping around my room a little bit, becoming extremely distracted with social media, Stress in my life was like, um, I would kind of have meltdowns not before a race or a big test because I wouldn't know how to handle it that well. So that's why we launched this randomized control trial with our, around 200 Yale students. So what we did was have the students go through this eight week intervention and right before and right after those eight weeks, we collected data on their um, psychological well-being, on measures of stress, anxiety, depression, burnout, life satisfaction, self-compassion, uh, all of the different facets of well-being. We decided to evaluate three different empirically validated well-being interventions side by side compared to a control group an emotional intelligence program, did mindfulness-based stress reduction, and finally we uh, selected the Sky Campus Happiness Program. So Sky the Campus Happiness Program is a comprehensive wellness program that addresses wellness and happiness from many angles, incorporating breath work, yoga, and deep meditation, as well as leadership and service learning and also positive psychology. The core of the Sky Happiness Program is Sky Meditation. Quite honestly, I was pretty skeptical going into it. I've never really done breathing exercises. I didn't know that was a thing that you did <laughs> with meditation. I just assumed meditation was kind of like sitting in a dark room and like trying not to think about anything. Um, I never really bought into meditation or yoga as a way to improve my well-being. And then my thoughts about meditation and mindfulness started to change a little bit until we actually got to the Sky Meditation Retreat. I cannot believe, still to this day, how deep of a meditation I fell into. Um, but I didn't know how much of it was like your physiology, like how you control like the things inside of you, like with breathing, which I had no idea that you could even do that. Sky meditation immediately starts releasing stress from the nervous system and has a deep physiological effect. I felt alive, I felt energized, I felt awake. I remember waking up after that sky meditation session. I cannot remember a day I was more productive. Well, when I do the practice, I feel rejuvenated. My head is clear, I know what I have to do this that day, and then it, it feels really good, like I'm full of energy. Being equipped with the knowledge that I've gained from this class, like the different breathing techniques, has really helped me to de-stress and re-equilibrate myself. Like it's a dome around me. The stresses would come, but they would just bounce off the dome and they aren't as impactful, like they don't get to me. I think I like come out of the breathing and the meditation as a happier, like more balanced person, which is something I did not expect at all. I'm just having a much better semester and I feel so much happier and like so much more stable. Like I come back to my suite and my roommates are like, why are you so calm right now? And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, guys, it's, I don't know, I'm just enjoying life. So I find that students end up practicing often daily because the practice feels so good. Their mental health and well-being feels so boosted. I wake up and do my sky meditation routine and it's really not a difficult program at all. I wake up and I'm ready to go for the day.
rather than wait until students have mental health issues and then addressing that with therapy, medication, etc., why don't we teach students tools to take care of their well-being ahead of time? Why don't we take a preventative approach? What would it mean if students everywhere were equipped with these techniques and tools so that they can not only do well in school, but also learn to thrive in life?